It rarely snows here in England, but a few weeks ago there was a massive blizzard. Roads were blocked, tube stations were blocked, no one could go anywhere, so school was closed. To say I was delighted is an understatement. I was exhilarated. I had a lot of free time on my hands. My parents were going to be out of town as well. The first day I was home alone, I pretty much did nothing all day. I just played on the PlayStation a bit and looked out of my bedroom window. Something felt odd about the neighborhood. Yes, there was snow. That made everything look different. However, the streets were empty. Maybe it's because of the snow. Yeah, that's it. It's probably just because of the snow. A quick description of my neighborhood. A road splits into two rows of houses. The street is usually pretty lively. People walking down the pavement left and right, and cars driving down the road. Now, it's been a week and my neighborhood still looks empty. And it feels empty. I decided to go to the shops for some snacks. The shops are right around the corner of my street. As I was walking down the pavement, I saw something very far away from the shops, near a small park where I go with my friends every summer. There was a humanoid looking figure. I walked towards the park as I haven't seen any human life since my parents left. However, as I got closer to the park, the humanoid figure didn't really look human anymore. The creature was white as snow, kind of camouflaging it. Though its hands looked like sticks protruding out of its arms, its legs were the same as its arms. Though the legs were so small that the creature had to bend to walk over like a gorilla? It had a body of a human, but it looked terrifying. I slowly turned to walk away, but I tripped on something and fell into the snow and tasted it. The snow tasted like blood, even though there was none. I looked at what I tripped over, and yet yeah, nothing was there. The creature is gone as well. It's been three days since the incident. My parents should be home by now. Maybe they aren't home because of the snow? I mean, it is still snowing. Food is also beginning to run low. I've been thinking about the incident. What if I imagine the creature? What if I just imagine the taste of blood? I don't even know anymore. I don't know what to do. And where are my parents? Are they coming home? Are they even near town? I don't know. It's been four weeks since my parents left. Something happened. I was talking to my friend on my phone, which I started to do every day since this incident started, and I was interrupted by an emergency broadcast on the TV. It said that all residents of Ochrepool are to stay indoors no matter the urgency. Close all blinds and do not go outside. I did what the person told me to do. After all that, I called my friend back and asked him if that happened to him as well, and he responded with, yeah, it did happen. It came up on my TV. It's been so long since my parents left, and it just keeps snowing. I think I can see those creatures walking around my neighborhood. All the power is gone. I don't know what to do. I can sometimes hear a faint scratching noise outside my door. I can also hear what I think is screaming coming down from the road once in a while. My friend is not picking up his phone when I call him. Nor are my parents. I've got to get out of here. I can clearly see the creatures now. There are more than a dozen patrols in the neighborhood. I think I'll run to the nearest town. If I don't record after this, that means I'm probably dead. Alright, I'm alive. I made it out of town. There are so many of them here. These creatures managed to escape the church. There are at least 30 people with me in the church. They have plenty of food, and that's a good thing, I guess. The bad thing is that it still hasn't stopped snowing, and the creatures have surrounded the church. I got a closer look at their face today. Their face has no nose, razor sharp teeth with no lips, and dark bloody eyes. I just want them to be gone, and I want the snow to be gone as well. The creatures are gone, at least I thought they were. We decided to go outside to get supplies, but when we did, they attacked. We were powerless against them. They killed. No. They tortured many of us. Me and three other people fled into the church. We can hear them crashing into the door. Soon, we'll break it down. They'll torture us. But if we somehow survive, I'll record. But if I don't, to whoever finds this, please get the hell out of England.